Hey, good morning. If it's the morning, good afternoon, whenever you are watching this. It's time for us to do a little bit of counting together. Now, this week our friends in reception have been learning how to count over 10. So we have been going all the way up to 20 and grown-ups at home, some of your children may have been able to say their numbers up to 20 uh, for a long time, which is amazing. What we're looking for is a really deep understanding of what this means. So we have got our 10 and I have got my tens frame here. Uh, tens frame, I think we've looked at them before, it just has 10 spaces. So I've made a big one here, just using some cloth. At home you can use paper, you could draw it in chalk. If you have an outside space, you could use masking tape and do it on the floor. Lots and lots of different ways. And what we need to understand with our children is our teen numbers just means 10, <laughs> 10 add on however many we are adding on. So should we have a look? Children, how many are in my tens frame here? 10, fabulous, it's full, I have 10. So do I say 21? No, I say 11. What does 11 mean? 11 means 10, add on one more. 10, add on one more. Should we go through them all really quickly? Because you're superstars at this. Are you ready? What's next, children? 10 and two more. That means 12. Well done. And again, we don't say 22, do we? No, 11 and 12 have their own special names. 12 means 10 and two more. What's one more than 12? You shout it at me. Shall I put it on? I can see 10 and 3. And what we're really trying to encourage our, our children to do, grown-ups, is not to do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because what makes our counting really fluent is if we can subitize. We can see here the tens frame is full. So we could do, if we need to count, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 is tricky because lots of us want to say 3 teen, don't we? But we've got a 10 three more, 13. And when we're saying our teen numbers, just check we're saying it properly. We need t, e, n, teen. Teen means 10. Okay, 10 add on one more guys, shout it at me. Yay, 14. What does 14 mean? 10 and four more. You've got it. And these ones are a little bit easier because we can say four and teen, four and ten, or ten and four. Okay, you tell me what's next. Fourteen, add on one more. Fifteen, that's it. Mm. Is that this one? No, it's okay, I made a mistake, I'll have another go. Is it this one? Yay, because I can see I've got ten, and five more, 10 and five, 15. Good job, right, are you ready? We'll do one more. How many do I have now? Let's see, 10 and six more is, you got it, 16. Well done, right, you do the next one all by yourself. What is it? Good job. Well done. It is 17. That means 10 and 7 more. Well done, everybody. Next one. 18. Good job. 10 and 8 more. And then all the way up to 10 and 9 more. 19. 19, 10 and 9 more, 19. Now, 
18 numbers are finished now. But I've got a space on my tens frame. Hmm. What's 19 add 1 children? Can you tell me? It is. It is 20. Have a look at this. 110 turns into two tens. And my tens frames show me this. Two tens. So, shall we play a quick game? Are you ready? You have to tell me the numbers. Okay, you have to tell me the numbers. Ready? On your marks, get set. Go. 18. Well done. Oh, Miss Malcolm got it upside down. What have we got? 17. Good job. What's next? 16. Well done. What have I got? 19. Well done. 10 and 9 more. Good job. What's this one? 20. You've got it. What? We know this one. Hello, 10. Good job, 12. 11. 13. Good job. 14. Well done. And last one, 15. Grown-ups at home, these are my caterpillar numbers, which the children love because we can make them into a caterpillar. But you could have some little numbers just on paper or card and mix them up and the children could order them and explain them to you. So have some fun with the numbers over this bank holiday. I am a bit sad because three days of no school, but I will see you all on t t Tuesday.